everyone. Welcome to a brand new playthrough. I'm, of course, Thunder THR. Thank you for tuning in. I know this is, might be a little bit surprising that I'm doing a, another kind of LP-style playlist, but honestly, the more I thought about it, the more I th think, you know, it's probably good to just do some content, and people like, and people like content, right? So I thought, uh, getting back into it, I thought I'd play a bit of a guilty pleasure game. This is Ford Racing 2. It's an all, as of course you can guess by the logo and the name, it is an all Ford racing game that was released in 2003 by, by uh, developed by Razorworks and published by the now defunct Empire Interactive. This is basically, in a lot of ways, very much kind of like a sort of um, kind of like a sort of uh, a budget game. It was, it spent, it was, it was released kind of you know for relatively cheap on the PlayStation Two and Xbox. It also, of course, has a PC port, which is what I'm playing for this playthrough here. And uh, I just thought, let's if I'm going to get back into making video uh, playthroughs and stuff, I wanted to kind of come back by doing a nice, simple game, a game that I kind of relatively enjoy and one that's not too like overly complex or anything, just ridiculous or nothing. So that's what I've decided I'm going to be doing here. So I'm yes, I'm playing this on PC. Uh, I know there's no music playing because and the reason for that is because I'm actually using a widescreen patch, and the widescreen patch. Whilst it actually makes the screen properly widescreen, like this game does natively support 1080p, but it does, but the wide it doesn't properly do widescreen. I have a patch on here that makes it actually support widescreen properly, but it does kill the music. But that's okay because I've got a uh, over the last little while, I've been making a bit of a Twitch playlist, and. I've been having some music, and in these playthroughs, I'm probably going to be using that music as stuff to, so you can just have stuff to listen to in the background and whatnot. It's it's stuff from various racing games and stuff that I know it's uh, currently safe for YouTube. Uh, uh, so hopefully this will this will be an acceptable compromise. But anyways, enough of me talking. Let's get into the action. I've already gone ahead and made a profile. Uh, but of course, as you see, I have done nothing in this uh, whatsoever yet. So. We got, of course, there's not a whole lot in this game. We just got quick race, single race, multiplayer, uh, which I believe is just uh, split screen stuff. It's just local multiplayer. Uh, of course, our options, which I've already gone ahead. So we could be using uh, no traction control, ABS still on, manual, manual transmission, miles per hour, mirror map, blah, blah, blah. But... That's just basically the quick rundown, and of course, I've already set up my controller. This game kind of does support uh, my an Xbox controller, but not, but only to certain extents. But f of the extents it does support, it's good enough. So, uh, basically, this playthrough, we're going to be doing everything in Ford Challenge and everything in Ford Collection because you got you get you get special you get special trophies and cut and stuff for uh, doing it through both Ford Challenge and Ford Collection. And, of course, the summary, which is collecting all the, 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 the vehicles, the tracks, and the race types. And I really should have turned this music down. The first bit of this playthrough, I'm going to be doing the Ford Challenge mode, because that's where you unlock, basically, the meat of the game's content. So, Ford Challenge it is. It allows you to collect vehicles, tracks, and race types for your Ford collection. Win a vehicle's challenge to collect that vehicle, that track, and that race type. So, let's go ahead and see what we got here. So, we got a whole bunch of vehicles that we can act that we can uh, go and attain here. Some of them we got to unlock through doing other events, but most but the majority of them are relatively available. It just requires a few of them to be unlocked. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm basically just going to go from left to right, so which means we're going to start with the living legends that go to movie stars, SVT, concept, off-road, custom, and finally stock car. So we're get, we will of course be kicking off with living legends. And the first one we have here is a 1949 Ford on the Route 50 track for a driving skills type. You'll see what the driving skills is. You have to complete one lap of the track before the time counts down, drive cleanly through the cone gates to earn more time, and of course, because I'm a bit of a sadist, we are going to go for hard mo hard difficulty. So yeah, you do have to be pretty, you do have to, oh, for God's sakes. X, X, the X button, not A. Ugh, I, I configured this control to so not do this and I'm doing it. Uh, oh, well, YouTube, you're gonna get some enjoyment out of me being an idiot. So.
because I, I easily just could cut all. I easily could cut a lot of that out, and uh, I could just cut a lot of that out and make it so that uh, it looks relatively perfect. But I want to have some humor with this. Let's, you know, have had a bit, have a bit of entertainment with this. So I'm gonna leave that in just so you can all laugh at me. Just make your just make a your upshift button. Yeah, I mean if that keeps happening, I probably will. But I. I just, I just gotta get it in the muscle memory. Of course, another thing too, if you change the uh, camera, if you go into this view here, you can you can actually get a, a different speedometer, and the speedometer changes with which Ford vehicle you're driving, so it actually matches, it'll actually match up with the car in question, which is actually quite nice. That's it though for camera views. It's, you've only you only get your outside view, and then you get your uh, your uh, bumper view. That's all that's all she wrote for that. Of course you got your uh, rear you got your uh, look behind button of course which is self-explanatory. Oh, got a little too close there. And there apparently. But it's fine, we made it this time. And so we, so we got the win, we got some points. And of course, THR is my driver name. Yeah, you can only have three three letters for, three character letters for uh, your, setting your profile in this game. Same thing with Ford Racing 3. Awesome, I made the high score table where every other score was zero, set by FR. Cool. And of course, we've, we've actually now collected the 49 Ford, which means we can now actually use the 49 Ford in the Ford collection mode. Well, we've also collected the driving skills race type, meaning that in Ford Collection we can now do any any driving skills event. There we go. So that is the first car down. Now, since this part would be relatively short if I had just left it at that, I'm going to I'm going to add a second vehicle to kind of extend this part out a little bit. So let's switch over to the '68 Mustang at the Bay Bridge for a simple time attack. So I was expecting to get through this relatively quickly, but uh, as it turns out, they actually really do want you to kind of really, to really nail this one, so. Hard, hard in this game is harder than I was giving it, initially giving it credit for. And you know what? That's fine. That's, it's, 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 it's exactly what it says on the tin. And I would, and you know, I don't know exactly what else I was expecting to be totally honest with you, but we're, we're, it's, it's no big, it's fine. It's not a big deal. We'll, we'll, we'll get it down. This is, I'm going to keep this as a hard playthrough because it's more, more exciting that way. So basically, the main the main thing I've been having is uh, I just gotta I just gotta get some of these lines down a little better, like especially like one section I keep accidentally kind of bumping into. Cat, please, I'm trying to play the game here. Stop getting in front of the screen. Okay, so try to see if I. Can to make sure, see if I can keep as much speed as I can going into here. Oh, very good. Very, very good. Oh, good. And no wall tap either. Uh, hi, Paraglaber. And yes, cat. Like, my actual pet cat. Her name is Clementine. Oh god. This is for PC, yes. Okay, well even with even with a bit of a even with a bit of a a bonk of the wall there, I still managed to get the time there on that first go. Very nice. See? <laughs> YouTube won't know YouTube won't know any different. There we go. We just managed to get it there. Very, very good. And of course, I do like how this game does not have any actual like leaderboards and stuff. So, you, so whenever you put times, like it's like it's you and it's you only. So we got the Mustang. We've got the track, which is Bay Bridge, and we've got the race type, which is Time Attack. 
And we've also unlocked one of the uh, the stock car things for Ford Challenge, which is the Class D Tour stock car, which is a standard race around Rock City Raceway. And we've got our driver rating improved, too, up to amateur now. All right, cool. So, that's, uh, that's this part down. And in part two, we're going to do both the 55 Thunderbird and the 49 Concept. So... Stay tuned for that. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to check out my links. Check out my Twitch if you want to see these happen live when, they ha when it happens. And, of course, I'll see you on the next video.